guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris Norwood and I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded. Today, we're doing a very special unboxing video of the Offsprings Americana, one of my earliest punk rock albums. Uh, behind Green Day and possibly Blink-182, this is one of my earliest earliest adventures in punk rock and uh, this per, uh, I'm doing this because this is you know we're having a lot of fun letting the bad times roll this year uh, the first new offspring music in the form of an album in many many years now you know I like to complain I've complained on the channel about the delays of the offspring but, you know the guys stayed busy they were putting on concerts they released a lot of EPs um, you know cover songs soundtrack songs you know the Sharknado song is pretty good coming for you has been out for a long time and their live stuff has been pretty darn good but uh, man Americana just it was the start of this beautiful relationship between me and the offspring if you want to hear more about my relationship with Offspring, check out my Ranking the Studio Albums videos or my album reviews of the Offspring. So this is just uh, spectacular. This one just instantly transports me back to my middle school days. Interesting about my school years, um, the grade that I was in was the year that it was. So 1998, I was in eighth grade. That's entertainment value, you bleeps. Okay. Got this really, now this CD is beat all to pieces, but nothing holds up like a 90s CD, I'm telling you. Like this one and Nimrod, they will play forever and ever. And ever. This thing is cracked. And it still plays. They don't make them like they used to. You son of a cracker. Oh man, this was like, I was thinking about this the other day too. Because I was, I guess I would have been 12 or 13 when I started getting into Green Day and Blink-182 and the Offspring. This CD was so controversial. I remember like even opening up and I'm like, <gasps> A cigarette oh no my parents are gonna take this away my, my parents loved this album at least my mom I know me and my mom enjoyed this album a whole lot I wish she was still around uh, 98 Sony music entertainment a bunch of that crap you got Columbia CK 69661 got some lines you got an ashtray kind of thing going on I'm not sure what what this you know it's a it's a cigarette some poop around it maybe okay so then I love this artwork you can hear uh, Dexter and Noodles talking about this cover art they saw this guy's artwork on other things and uh, just beautiful beautiful stuff here love that love that. Everything is distorted in Americana my way. This is probably one of my favorite all-time uh, physical CDs. Just, it just was the, like I said, it, like this and Nimrod were just the beginning of my love affair with these bands. Each track has its little uh, illustration here and they're just it just make the album that much better. You got uh, Have You Ever is a scarecrow representing all the, the falling <coughs> that Dexter Holland is going through. He's falling, he's falling. Have you ever buried your face in your hands cause no one around you understands or has the slightest idea what it is that makes you be. Oh, while 
while you're staring at the sun. Whoa. This guy's getting shot in the face in staring at the sun. Because maybe life is like a ride on a freeway. Dodging bullets while you're trying to find your way. Everyone's around but no one does a bleeping thing. It brings me down. But I won't let them if it seems bleak. Well, then you'd be correct. And if I don't speak, well, it's because I can't. Blah, blah, blah. As you're staring at the sun. Whoa. Check this out. As you're staring at the sun. Oh, 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 oh. And then the tune. That started. I don't know if I heard Pretty Fly first. Or Why Don't You Get a Job first. But it was a very different kind of introduction to the band. Than Good Riddance. But it was kind of the same in that. Those songs don't really represent the band's sound entirely. Like, they're not a goofball band, but they have some goofball songs. You know it's kind of hard just to get along today. Our subject isn't cool, but he fakes it anyway. So I remember, like, just discussing the lyrics of this song in middle school. Like, we were trying to figure out, like, what is this about? Especially, like, you know he doesn't get it anyway. We're like, you know what they're talking about, right? <gasps> You could always go on Ricky Lake. Does that is that maybe dated? Like the song doesn't sound dated, even though it's talking about uh, these very very '90s things like Ice Cube and Vanilla Ice uh, cruising in his Pinto. And uh, yeah, you know it's oh he's rad. See him dance. He's got um, and then you got the kids are not all right. Very, very cool. Very, very detailed stuff. Cats are eating vomit. You got some girls here, along with some of the creatures. So, oh, she's flipping us off. Very nice. Very classy, my lady. But you know what? She's got, uh, oh, not issues. Well, yeah, this girl has issues. And this girl has feelings. Maybe not. Um, actually, this is just a girl that Dexter is maybe angry at, or maybe this is the girl that's angry at Dexter. Um, live in my heart. Feelings. Whoa, feelings. Whoa, feelings. You're not very nice. Feelings. Whoa, feelings, whoa, fee. We've got some more really dark, dark stuff. You're going to prison. And then it's the end of the line. You're dead. So, so like all these songs kind of connect thematically and it's really great. So this is a really dark, you know, no one understands you. Um, staring at the sun is a kind of an anthemic kind of call to arms. Uh, so staring at the sun is pretty positive. Pretty fly for the white guy is a little bit unclear on whether it's happy or sad. It's a goofy song and it contains a sample from Rock of Ages by Def Leppard. Oh yeah, that bleating, gobbin, gobbin, gobbin. Interesting. Um, cruelest dream reality. So pretty fly for a white guy is not that dark. Uh, the kids are all, aren't all right is very dark. That one kind of brings a tear to my eye. Like gone away. It's almost on gone away levels. Then you got, you know, hating this girl. And then this girl's crazy. This guy's going to prison. This guy's dead. Man, I Got No Breaks is kind of an anthemic punk rock anthem. Veritas. Veritas. Look it up. Um, yeah, 
son's kind of happy, and then why don't you get a job? It's kind of neither neither happy nor sad. One thing's for sure, though, that, that couple, I hope they're not together some 20-odd years later. I bet this boy doesn't play a mean game of football. He's blindfolded! What? The, there's skulls all over the field. Somebody clean, clear those out. Like, get bones out there. Zoe Day's, Jez Channel's um, not quite as, uh, as interesting sister. Anybody else have a, a crush on Zoe Day Chanel? Just throwing that out there. Haven't mentioned that on the channel. Zoe De Chanel. Mm. Ah, but her sister, her sister, who is attractive as well, should investigate. Oh, this is great. You got like Bill Clinton's head. You got some uh, uh, Miss June down there. Very classy Miss June. I got to cover her up. You got a guitar is on fire. Your boom box is on fire. That's probably okay. Your TV, your pipe, your VHS tape, goodness gracious. Your your other items of of importance and worth are burning. If you don't pay the man, your burger will burn. So here in the credits, we have The Offspring are Dexter Holland with vocals and guitar, Greg Kay on bass only, Noodles on guitar and vocals, and Ron Welty on drums. Produced and mixed by David Jordan, engineered by Brian Kalstrom, en assistant engineer Annette Sineros. Studio assistants Elaine Turgillo, Torillo and Janie Rangel recorded and mixed at El Dorado Recording Studios, Burbank, California. Mastered by Eddie Shriver at Oasis Mastering Studios, California. Guitar techs are Brian Hall and Chris Higgins. Drum tech, Ross Garfield of Drum Doctor. All songs by The Allspring, 98 Underachiever. Uh, music, BMI Admin by Wix and Music. All rights reserved, used by permission, except feelings by Morris Albert, Louis Felix, Marie Gast, Maricho Alberto Carse, remember that? 1974 for Mata International Melodies Incorporated, Loving Guitar Music Incorporated, Ace of the Law with Lyric Parody by Dexter Holland. Welcome vocals by John Mayer. I think it's, I don't think it's the John Mayer. I think it's a, another the John Mayer. Assorted quips by Calvert. Larry Bud Melvin DeForest. Additional vocals on Pretty Fly by Higgins X13. Heidi Vigorville and Nikki Frost. Additional vocals on Pretty Fly reprised by John Mayer, Calvert, Larry Bud, Melvin DeForest. Heidi Vigorin and Nikki Futterman Frost. Backing vocals Jack Grissom, David Davy Havoc, Higgins X13, Jim Lindbergh, Noodles, and Dexter. Some famous name dropping there. Uh, we got Jim Lindbergh and Jack Grissom up here at Purdue Epitaph Records. Davey Havoc is from Nitro Records. Marachi, Cares of Law, Guitar, Carlos Gomez, Guitar Yon, Ray Giribay, Trumpet, Pedro Pina, Bojila, Alvaro, Macarlos, Violin, Miguel Gonzalez, Horns on Why Don't You Get a Job, Gabe McNair and Phil Jordan. I believe those guys, uh, Gabe McNair, I believe, played with Green Day in concert briefly or and or possibly no doubt. Flute on Why Don't You Get a Job by Derek Davis. Art direction by Sean Evans. Illustrations, which are great. Frank Kozik. CD Extra. Designed by Justin Bebop. Management is Rebel Waltz Incorporated again. Right to the offspring at their P.O. Box 5956, Garden Grove, California, 92846. Internet is going to be the offspring.com. This compact disc was manufactured to meet critical quality standards. If you believe the disc has a manufacturing defect, 
please call our quality blah blah blah, blah 800-255-741 bleep New Jersey residents should call a different number entirely because you're in New Jersey you should call 609-722-8 bleep 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 three the it crowd bunch of credits we've already talked about Columbia this is a CD-ROM put it in your computer and see what happens we're gonna do that now read me what is this play music start tile what is this 18 minutes ah this is some old nonsense here what the heck read me oh man brand new way of experiencing music yeah garbage play music I wonder what that'll do. Okay, this is some old garbage that doesn't work. I got them using an old desktop here. Oh well. I tried, people. So, the enhanced CD portion of this does not work. No longer works. I've got a, uh, now this is an older desktop computer. I could try it on the laptop. But honestly, I don't think it's going to work on any computer at this point. Offspring fans, unite. Does anybody, let me, let me ask a question, just uh, if you guys are still here. Let me ask a question. This is one of my favorites right here. Does anybody else absolutely love Splinter and Rise and Fall Raging Grace? And this one, of course. Everybody loves this one. The whole world. Please like and subscribe, guys. That was a lot of fun. All right. Let's, let's do this again in a few minutes. Thank you.